Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's talk about nested objects in Formic. If we take a look at our YouTube form currently, we can understand from the initial values object that there are five fields. And we track our form values in the same structure as these key value pairs. So if I go back to the browser, fill in values and click on submit, you can see that we have the key value pairs for the different fields. Now this is fine, but sometimes you might want to group together some data into its own separate object. The reason could be that the API accepts the data in such a manner or the database stores the data in a particular fashion. Whatever might be the reason, we want to group together some of the fields in our form. For that, we can make use of nested objects. Let's understand with an example. Suppose our YouTube form should also collect information about the social presence that the user has. So the form will ask the user for their Facebook and Twitter profiles. Since they are related, we want them to be grouped and stored as a nested object. Let's see how to achieve that in two simple steps. First step on the initial values object, we are going to specify a property called social and this is going to be equal to an object. This object in turn is going to have the Facebook and Twitter properties with initial values set to an empty string. So we now have a nested object. Second step, let's add the form fields in our JSX. This is something we have done quite a few times, so I'm going to quickly add the code. A div tag, class name is equal to form control. You're then going to have a label that says Facebook profile and HTML4 is going to be equal to Facebook. And after the label, we're going to have the formic field component. Type is equal to text. ID is equal to Facebook, but this time the name attribute instead of just Facebook, we're going to have it as social.facebook. Now this is important because we are dealing with nested objects. Social.facebook. I'm going to copy paste this code for Twitter as well. Paste it change all occurrences of Facebook to Twitter. All right, that completes our step two. Let's head to the browser and test this out. I'm going to enter some data. And when I click on the submit button, you can see the data object we are submitting. We have name, email, channel, comments, and there is a duplicate, which we are going to get to in just a bit, address, and then of course, social. But this social property is a nested object, which contains the data for Facebook and Twitter fields. So if you ever want to group together some data, you can make use of nested objects. Remember, there are two simple steps. First step, Add the nested object into the initial values object. And if you notice here, I have a typo, which is causing the additional value to be present. So this has to be comments. So first step, nested object in initial values. And the second step, when you define the fields, make sure you specify the name attribute with the dot notation on the nested object. All right, that is pretty much it about the nested object feature in Formic. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.